What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. Use the left two lanes so, to turn as we had this uh, uh, dominant performance tonight from now undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, now the reigning undisputed welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 40 wins, no losses, no draws, 31 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch armage. Terrence Crawford shockingly, one-sidedly dominated former unified three belt WBA, WBC, IBF welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one in many people's eyes. He was definitely top five, top four pound for pound best fighters in the world in Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr., a record of now 28 wins, one loss, no draw. 21, 22 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Errol Spence and Terence Crawford fought in one of the most highly anticipated fights in 40 years. The biggest fight, in my opinion, in 40 years. Legendary fight, iconic fight, undisputed showdown. First undisputed four major sanction belt welterweight world champion in boxing history. Right, and Terence Crawford absolutely dominated this fight. Absolutely dominated. wasn't even a close competitive fight. In the first round, could have went up in the air, gave it to Errol Spence. From that moment forward, it wasn't a contest. Terence Crawford absolutely dominated, made adjustments, controlled the pace of the fight, controlled the fight itself and dominated the fight. He, he just handily dominated the fight and dominated Errol Spence, dropped him four, three or four times and stopped him in the ninth round. Well, when, we, when they signed the contract, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence agreed to an immediate rematch and they both had 30 days to activate and petition for the immediate rematch. And Errol Spence is well documented that Errol Spence is on record stating that it's not easy for him to make 147 pounds. Just simply not easy for him, right? And he's ready to go up to junior middleweight, 154 pounds. Immediately following the fight, Errol Spence, he stated that he wants the rematch, right? Uh, he wants to do it. He said, hopefully we do it again by December, is what Errol Spence stated, right? He said, hopefully we do it again by December. And so with that said, um, Errol Spence stated that he wants to have it at 154 though. He stated that he felt uh, uh, good going into the fight, but he just was not able to go to another level. He got dropped in the fight, got battered, beat up badly in the fight. And so he stated that, you know, hopefully he gets the rematch by December at 154. It's not easy to make 147 pounds, said I'm not one to make excuses, but, um, uh, uh, he stated that, you know, uh, he don't, he's not a man to make excuses, but he would like to fight to be at 154. He stated that he, uh, agreed to fight at 147 and, and that he agreed to fight at 147 and he made the weight and there's no excuses, right? And Terrence Croft in the post-fight press conference is now stated when asked about Errol Spence's comments about fighting at 154, he stated, 
let's make it happen at 154. He stated that making 47 is not easy for him to make. And uh, uh, he, I'm in the hurt business is what Terrence Crawford stated. I'm in the hurt business and let's do it at 154. So Terrence Crawford accepts the challenge of fighting Errol Spence at 154 pounds. Again, Terrence Crawford was on record stating that he wanted to face off against three-time junior middleweight world champion, now the undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, close friend, stable mate, and training partner of Errol the True Spence Jr. and Jamel Ironman Charlo, who has 35 wins, one loss, one draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age. He is five foot eleven and a half with a seventy three and a half inch arm reach. But Jamel Charlo is moving up in weight, which removes him from an option. That Terence Crawford, that's the fight that Terence Crawford wanted, Jamel Charlo, and that's not going to happen. Jamel Charlo is going up two weight classes, one sixty eight, to challenge uh, the undisputed super middleweight world champion, Mexican superstar boxer. Saul Canelo Alvarez. So, Terrence Crawford wants to become a five division, four division world champion. And uh, Terrence Crawford said, listen, I'll be 36 years old soon. And so, I'm not getting any younger. Let's go ahead and make these fights happen, is what Terrence Crawford stated. And so, he said that Errol Spence is a great fighter. And that essentially he accepted the challenge to go to 154. Now I just did an interview, uh, a video that undefeated welterweight superstar title contender Jerron Boots Ennis is campaigning for his opportunity as he's the International Boxing Federation welterweight mandatory challenger now for Terrence Crawford's belt. And, um, He's pushing for that opportunity and many people want to see that fight. But it don't look like it's gonna happen. As Terrence Crawford is gonna rematch, Errol Spence looks like it'll be before the year is up. Terrence Crawford recently took the social media. He said fish fried. Now it's Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence on the banner. As Errol Spence stated, that banner say Errol Spence, then Terrence Crawford. I made this happen. Now the shoe is on the other foot. Now it's up to Terrence Crawford to make it happen. So Terrence Crawford said, now I'm the A-side. And now they'll negotiate that rematch at 154. I truly uh, wish that Jamel Charlo hadn't left the division because that was a big fight. But Jamel Charlo has a legacy fight, daring to be great, daring to become undisputed two division world champion in two separate weight classes to be the second male to do it. Uh, Carissa Shields is the first boxer overall to do it. She's the female boxer. And now Terrence Groff is the first male to do it. And um, then you have, it looks like Monster Inouye is going to attempt to do it before the year is up as he faced the Pilots. Um, and Jamel Charles is going to attempt to do it September 30th when he faces off against Canelo Alvarez. So he's chasing greatness, chasing legacy and it's on the table for him. So with that said, we got to see how it unfolds, but it look like we're going to get Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence at 154 to rematch. He beat Errol Spence so handily in this fight. Now, again, it's going to be that Errol Spence wasn't, um, he was weight drained. Uh, Errol Spence wasn't, you know, uh, wasn't himself he was weight drained and that played a major part and so because of that is why people are going to pay to see it the rematch because at 154 Errol Spence gets seven pound window he's going to be bigger stronger he should be more um energized and before this fight I'm like man Errol Spence don't look like himself he definitely looked drained what we're going to find out now. 154. 
Terrence Crawford accepts the challenge. Let's see it. Greatest boxing year, in my opinion. If all all the chips fall as it as it may, it's gonna be the greatest year in boxing history. So let's see. But from what I saw, no slight to Errol Spence, taking nothing away from that man. Just from what I saw, I just think that Terence Crawford is the is the better fighter. He's twitchy. He's athletic. He's quick-handed. I just think that he's the better fighter overall. And I think that uh, his jab was better, was stronger. I just think that Terrence Crawford's going to be even stronger at 154, just like Errol Spence. It may be a more competitive fight, but I think ultimately Terrence Crawford is going to win again. So let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue, signing off. I'm gone. Peace.